Hi guys, it's Bree, and today I have a drugstore beauty supplies haul for you guys. And I just recently went shopping at CVS today, and I just got a whole bunch of things that I needed, and yeah. But before I start this video, I got my floors redone, and they used to be carpet, but now they're like black hardwood floor. And the guy has to come today just to put the molding around. But other than that, my room is finished. But, um... Yeah, and I'll show you guys it right here. And I also recently reached 300 subscribers. 300. And I, I told you this before. At um, When I reach 1,000 subscribers, then I will be doing a huge giveaway, like a really cool giveaway. So comment down some stores if you guys want me to shop at. I know some people said like Forever 21 and stuff, and I'll definitely shop there for you guys. But you have to make sure that I get to 1,000 subscribers. So please, please, please share this video with your friends so I can do a giveaway for you guys because I really want to do that. And also, I have a whole bunch of things if you log on. So if you go onto my YouTube channel and type in youtube.com slash one one only, and on my channel it says about, and just go through that and read that because I have a whole bunch of new news and I updated that. And at 5,000 subscribers, I'll be doing a room tour. So that'll be really cool. So I hope you guys enjoy. And let's just get started with the video. So starting off with Harris products, I got the Garnier Fertis Silk and Shine Frizz Dry Unmanageable manageable hair shampoo and conditioner and I've gotten really I've heard really great reviews on this and I've used this product before and I really like it I mean it makes my hair like really smooth and I don't really like shampoo or conditioner no especially conditioner where you put it in your hair and you're like in the shower and you're like oh okay this is really smooth and then you wash it out and you're in the shower and you're just washed like a minute, try to rinse it all out. You get out of the shower, your hair's dry, and it's like cracking because you didn't get the conditioner out. And I really like this shampoo because that doesn't happen, or conditioner, because that doesn't happen with this conditioner. Like, you can rinse your hair for like a minute and it'll get it out. And fun fact, um, when you're washing your hair, make sure to wash it in cold water if you want healthier hair. I heard that, and surprisingly also if you put your hair up in a towel after you get out of the shower which I have a habit of doing it damages your hair if so if you want longer hair rinse your hair in um, cold water and don't put it up in a towel and I know this stuff is hard because everyone does it but I haven't been doing that lately and my hair has got I've noticed some changes and I've also been putting this next product in a lot and it's called the macadamia natural oil healing oil treatment. Oops, I dropped it. Anyway, and it is this serum for your hair, and you put it in right after you get out of the shower, and you just put in like a little nickel size mouth, and you just run it through your hair like this, and it just smooths it and helps it and protects it, and I ran out of this product. I used it before, and I really loved it. It made my hair feel great. I personally like it better when I put it put it in when my hair is dry because I know how much I'm putting in. Because when I have wet hair and I put it in, I'm like, oh, that's not a lot, so I just put more in and more in and more in. So I'm just like, oh, okay. And then like once my hair's dry, my hair's like super soft. But I mean, that's good, but it's also kind of bad because then you're putting way too much product on your hair, which is not good. So I like doing it with dry hair so I know exactly how much I'm putting in because then I can feel like how much product is in my hair. And you don't want to like over oil your hair because then you're just going to be all like a huge grease ball on your head, which is going to be really awkward. And the last hair product that I got is the are these just like random hair bands and I like them because they don't have like the grips on the inside like I just don't like how some hair bands have like plastic because that just like tugs on my hair and pulls it and it's like really annoying so I just got these and they're brown and they match my hair color so and I was like running out of hair bands and there's like 18 hair bands in this one. <laughs> Moving on to makeup my first product is makeup removing wipes. This is just the Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing towelettes and I've used these before. They're really good. They don't make my face burn. Like I know some people say that certain types of makeup removers make your face burn but I've only used these makeup removers so and I don't wear a lot of makeup so I've only used it a little bit 
So I don't know, I guess if you use a bunch of makeup wipes a lot, then it could burn a little more. But these are just in this blue package, and they're, you know, they're really soft, and there's a whole bunch in here, um, 21 towelettes, and this is just really great. It does an awesome job of removing your makeup. But the only problem that I have with that product is it is a little greasy, like your face could be a little greasy, so, but I, only, I take off my makeup at like night, so I'd use that to get off my makeup, then wash my face. If you don't want your face to be greasy or you don't wash your face after you remove your makeup, then you might not want to get those um, makeup remover wipes. The next product I got was this Neutrogena Skin Clearing Mineral Powder, and I got it in the color Soft Beige, number 50, and it's just this powder, and my friend Rosie has it. She's been in a couple of my videos, and she said it's really good, and it does a great job of covering up your skin, and it's not, like, blotchy. Like, some powders just, like, look like it's just, like, stamped on your face, but she said this applies very smoothly, and I also got this powder brush. It's a mineral powder brush from um, Essence of Beauty. And it just looks like this, and it's a big fluffy brush, and you just dip it in your powder and then blotch it all over your face, and it just looks perfect. I was also looking in the store, and I found this really great Revlon Cream Shadow Eyeshadow Duo. And since it's a cream shadow, these are waterproof, and they're just a whole bunch of nude colors, and they're great for, like, the summer, or if you're going to school and you're in PE and you don't want your makeup to come off or you know whatever and these are just really great and they're very easy to apply all you have to do is like dip your finger in and put it over your lid you don't even need a brush for this and that is great and i love this and i find it super helpful how they're just like a whole bunch of neutrals so if you guys want me to do a makeup tutorial i probably will uh, most definitely and so just leave that as a comment down below that might even be my next video or you know comment down below and this palette is number 710, not just nudes. Next, I have the Maybelline Color Tattoo by iStudio. And it's a purpley color, and it's called Painted Purple, number 20. And it's pretty much just like a paint pot. And you, all you do, you could like dip your finger in. It's kind of like this, the cream shadows. Um, you could, like, if you want, like, a purple on your lid, you could dip it in, or you could just use a brush to un outline, <laughs> line, outline, no, line, like, your eyelid or whatever, or your waterline or something like that, just to give, like, a really nice pop of color. So the next two products I have got, I heard so many people talking about it on YouTube and anywhere, so I decided to try it out, and the first one was the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain, and I've heard so many people talk about this. So, it, I just got it in this, I'm not sure what color, oh, Sweetheart slash Valentine, and it just looks like this, and it's this really pretty pink color, and it just looks great, and I've been wanting to try this out. And then I also got the Rocket Volume Express Mascara, and I'm not sure if I got the waterproof formula or what, because I could tell, so I have like no idea. But I've heard so many people talk about this, so I just try, decided to try it out. And I'll tell you guys if I like it or not, because, I don't know, I've heard so many people talk about it. Last but not least, I have my random category. And I only have one product in it, and it is just some razors. The Hydro Silk Disposable Jettables. I needed some razors, what can I say? And it's just a three pack, and I really like these razors because they like have a moisturizer on them so your legs don't feel all weird. And then, I don't know, I just, I like disposable razors best because I don't really know. You could always like pop off the head though and get a new one, but you know, just looks like this. And that was pretty much what I got in my CVS haul. Nothing's in this bag. It's all sitting right next to me right here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and make sure you get me to a 1,000 subscribers. Um, follow me on my social media. It'll be all linked down below. And also comment down below if you guys want me to do a makeup tutorial. Also, thumbs up this video if you guys want me to do more hauls or beauty videos, anything like that. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you so much again for 300 subscribers. And I love you all to the moon and back. Bye.
Click on my face to see my last video and make sure you click the subscribe button up there so you can subscribe to my channel so I can get to a thousand subscribers to do a giveaway. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.